Leosteus. This armored fish was the apex predator of the Devonian seas 360 million years ago and considered one of the most terrifying and bizarre prehistoric organisms ever. But what made this giant fish such a menace? Dunkleosteus, meaning Dunkle's Bone, used to live in what is now the United States, Canada, Europe, and Morocco, which during the late Devonian, all four countries were very close to each other and surrounded an ancient sea called the Raharic Ocean. Here, Dunkleosteus existed and hunted animals such as the first ammonites, cephalopods that lived in spiral-like shells, along with trilobites, marine arthropods that roamed the ancient seas looking for organic debris, ancient sharks, and a group of fishes called placoderms which included Dunkleosteus. Placoderms had extensive bony armor-like plates covering both the head and chest area of the body, while the rest was covered in either bare or scaly skin. Dunkleosteus is the largest of this group and was well over 30 feet long, but unfortunately it is only known from its skull and armored plates, making it hard to reconstruct it fully. This is not only a problem with just Dunkleosteus, but nearly all placoderms similar to Dunkleosteus. Paleontologists then turned to smaller, more well-preserved species of placoderms to speculate on what the rest of Dunkleosteus would have looked like. Not only did this place serve as a form of protection, but actually formed what it looks like teeth, but are actually modified plates that served as a shearing beak that could cut through almost anything, from other fish to large arthropods and other placoderms, even other Dunkleosteus, suggesting cannibalism. They also served as huge muscle attachments which allowed for a tremendous biting force of an estimated 2 metric tons. With its hunting style, it has been suggested that Dunkleosteus could not swim fast due to its large plate slowing it down and thus either favored slow prey or would have ambushed unsuspecting animals swimming by. Evidence also suggested that Dunkleosteus could open and close its mouth at such a high speed, specifically 60 milliseconds, that it could create a vacuum in the water around it, pulling anything in its close vicinity into it. Similar to modern fish, it would use this to its advantage and open its mouth and suck in prey into it. That way, it did not have to physically catch its prey. Though it could cut through anything and eat other placoderms, it didn't mean it had the digestive power to actually digest the bony plates of its prey. Fossils of Dunkleosteus have been found with fish boluses, balls with the pre-digested fish parts that the animal could not fully digest, which indicates that Dunkleosteus would throw up whatever parts it couldn't digest. Though it was a top predator of its time, it, along with the entire group of placoderms, became extinct at the end of the Devonian due to an event called the Hagenberg event, which suggested with the large unmatched level of plant growth that occurred on land, more nutrients were being produced in rivers and microorganisms such as phytoplankton and algae started growing at high rates in rivers and oceans, which resulted in hypoxia, or depletion of oxygen and water, which killed off not only the whole group of placoderms, but many groups of trilobites, brachiopods, ammonites, and corals, which have almost became 100% extinct, making this extinction event the fifth worst in Earth's history. Though gone, Dunkleosteus is still praised in pop culture and has appeared in many forms of media, which include the documentary, Sea Monsters, both Jurassic Park Builder and Jurassic World the game, and at the time of this video, will be included in a popular game called Ark Survival Evolved. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos on paleontology, please subscribe and also like the video as well. And until next time, I'll see you all then.